Saiyan Army, it's Kanan. It's Jesse. And we are the Geeky Saiyan Couple, and welcome to our reaction of Ruby, Volume 7, Chapter 12. And we're we're near the end here for Volume 7. Um, hopefully you guys, uh, as you can see, Jess is like about to come out of her skin. I'm anxious. I'm yeah. <laughs> if you guys didn't watch our theory video, that's, that's why. Um, there's been a... Last couple of days, there's been a lot of theories going around because of a little logo that was uh, launched. Will it come to fruition? We don't know. Will it be this week? Will it be next week? You might have another week to wait. <laughs> um, but anyway, quick quick recap. If you didn't watch that video, pretty much a logo was shown that had uh, the B in the in the Ruby name slashed. Um, last time they did that, it was the W during Volume 5, and we all know Weiss got impaled by Cinder in that volume, so now everybody thinks that something's going to happen to Blake. I hope it's just them Ma yeah. making us nervous. Yeah, a lot of people think it's just Rooster Teeth messing with us to get hype, but uh, is Blake going to lose an ear? Is she going to lose an arm? Is she going to lose a leg? <laughs> Who knows? But who's going to do it? I think it, it was possibly going to be Blake and Yang running into Neo. Um, I do think, but I don't want her to get hurt. <laughs> Because we're all waiting for what Barbara said uh, of Yang screaming. So, um, I'm so nervous I don't want to start. <laughs> well, we need to start. <laughs> okay, uh, before we start, guys, remember, subscribe, hit the notification bell, support us on Patreon. All the links are in the description down below. Let's suffer. Martial law? Uh -huh. We cannot let him do this! Miss Hill, I'm sure the general understands the enormity of his. Oh no. <sighs> Clover? Oh no. People are not gonna like this. Crow, you should know that I've been asked to bring you in. <laughs> <laughs> a free ride and a show. There's I love also him. an alert on Team Ruby's arrest. What? Has James lost his mind? Yeah. He's trying to stop anybody who might get in the way of this inhumane plan. Looks oh, like he Robins. underestimated me. Again. Only Crow is under arrest. After everything we've been through tonight, please don't make me arrest you too. Cut it out, both of you. We're almost back to Atlas. Let's talk to James personally. It's taking a very long time for this show to get to the good part. Shut up. He's right. Let's get this over with. Oh, Robin? Robin? Oh, I had a feeling it'd be Robin who... Oh, that was fast. Oh, this is gonna break the Lucky Charms shippers' hearts. He doesn't have to. You can hug it out once we've taken it down. It's funny. Tyrion's gonna get away. You idiots. What are you doing? The will of our goddess! The clover just fails! <laughs> oh no. Weiss, what did you do? The general is leaving Mantle to perish? <sighs> He's saving Remnant. We can't let the relics fall to Salem. No, 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 but don't go all that those way. people we just protected, they won't survive. We don't have time to That doesn't bother you? Yes, Penny, please ask <sighs> questions. What about your sister? Our friends? My personal feelings don't matter. We have orders. I'm to retrieve the power of the Winter Maiden so we can access the relic. You're here to ensure my safety. Now come on. We've already lost enough time. Uh, that's how I saw Winter. It should matter. Mm -hmm. Penny, the general is making hard choices so we don't have to. For the good of all, not just a few. I do not see what is good about any of this. Oh, yes, Penny, please ask questions. On that, we can agree. Please, think about what you're uh -oh. doing. You heard the general. Until this is sorted out, you're under arrest. Well, there goes the ducking out of the windows. Really? Please, don't make this difficult. Don't make us have to get out of here by force. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not actually going to slug this out. Are Good we? boy, Mero. We're not doing anything. They decide what happens next. You think you're going to, to stop us? <laughs> we're the best huntsmen in Atlas. You were. Oh! Then you trained us. <laughs> Come on, Ruby, you gotta back Come your on, talk Harriet. up. We're playing right into Salem's hands. You know we need to be working together. Oh, don't give me that crap. I had you kids pegged right from the start. Oh, jeez. Ow. Ooh. It's not who I expected her to go up again. If you come peacefully, uh -oh. we won't hurt you. Speak for yourself. They betrayed us. You're betraying the people you've sworn to protect. <laughs> it's not worth it, Blake. They're just following orders now. Knees are used to getting what you want, but it's time to let this one go. This I, is my home. I love what Weiss is doing here. And I'm not giving it up without a fight. <sighs> oh, is Robin all right? Okay, yeah, she's breathing. She's good. Robin needs help. Surrender, and we can take her to Atlas. Get her patched up. Never pegged you for the manipulative type. But oh, I've learned God. a lot of things tonight. I enjoyed working with you, you know? Even with that endless cynicism of yours. I'm usually proven right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We don't have to fight, friend. You don't know my friends. That's how it always goes. <sighs> Something's gonna give. And of course, they leave Tyrion unintended again. <laughs> Did he just break his wrists to get out? Oh, he broke his thumb. He broke his thumb to get... Oh, he put it back into place. What's going to happen? Well, now we know... Now we know Clover punches oh, solid. don't stop on my account. Uh, wasn't planning on it. Oh, come on. Yeah, I agree. So let's say we put the kid to bed and then finish it. He threw a horseshoe at him. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, golly. Yeah, really, Crow? I'm trying to arrest her, not kill her hair. You're being excessive. Oh. It's not excessive if it's necessary. Marrow's not right. Oh! Oh, we're over a Time to wrap this up fine. They've had their chance. Don't be soft. Are you telling me? Or yourself? Oh, hello. 
<laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, golly, that scared me for a sec. Oh, I love this. Oh, my gosh, I love this fighting animation. Oh, a new song. Oh, it's a heartbreaking song, too. Oh, Team Ruby's gonna beat him. <laughs> she may have stopped the button. <laughs> oh, it works on the. Oh, but it's worn off on her. Oh, oh, there's his Oregon. Holy crap, are we. Yes! She's knocked out. She's out cold. We have to stop Ironwood. If they we can't beat access the Aesops. Relic, we can't move Atlas. We just have to get to the Winter Maiden. Blake and I will look for the others. But our scrolls Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. This is the part where they ask us to help. <laughs> Oscar must be around here. Oscar? I don't yeah. think that's Oscar. No. No! Uh, oh. Uh, oh, he punched Neo! This crazy girl showed up and attacked me, but she looks like someone else. Neapolitan. You know her? We haven't exactly heard good things. <gasps> I hope it will be painless for her. You said your personal feelings do not matter. No. Oh. They won't change my actions. What I'm committed to. The power of the oh, Winter man, Maiden and the Relic coaster. must be kept from our enemies. Even if it means she dies. But, yes, Penny. We must still acknowledge our personal feelings. Wrestle with them. It ensures us that we're on the right path. You all led Cinder right to where I bet she ain't It makes us human. I think, I think I understand. Yep. Yeah. What was that? Oh, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did she say damn it? Both of Ironwood's puppets. Lucky me. Cinder. You were responsible for Beacon. For what happened to me. It was, unfortunately, temporary. <sighs> now step aside or there won't be anything left to salvage this time. What do you think of that? I think... It gives me personal feelings. How much longer we got? That's what I'm worried about. Oh, we still got a bit. Okay, we still got a bit. Crow interior. <laughs> what the frick is going on? Robin's still knocked down.
Oh, no. Why couldn't you just do the right thing? Instead of the thing you were told! Sometimes the right decision is the hardest to make. I trust James with my life. I wanted to trust you. Uh. Oh, no! Oh! Doesn't look like your friend's gonna make it. I'll kill you! Oh, you mean like you just killed Clover? Oh no. <laughs> ah, here they come. Right on time. Oh no. Ah! Oh, looks like our score will have to wait. You know my track record with the authorities. <laughs> Someone had to take the fall. James will take the fall. Yeah. I'll make sure of it. Mm. <laughs> Good luck. Oh. Speechless for the first time. I'm speechless. Are you crying? I started to. <laughs> oh, I'd hate to see Twitter right now. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, Okay, so, um, I don't know what to say. Um, uh, well, um, Lucky Charms is gone. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, oh boy, um, I'm laughing at her reaction, not, not uh, um, so, uh, I had a feeling characters were going to die. I didn't, like... The moment his aura broke, the moment, like, you knew Tyrion was a factor, the moment his aura broke and Crow's sword was just laying there, it kind of, it, it threw major death flags. Um, so, Team Ruby beat the Aesops. Like, they, they, they beat them pretty handedly. Poor Marrow. Like, yeah. He just, yeah. he didn't want to do that. Yeah. Um, I think he's the one that kind of got the least beating, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, Harriet lasted the longest because she's proving more and more that she's the most antagonistic of the four. Um, we got some great uh, Bumblebee action. Once again, them showcasing how well Yang and Blake uh, fight. They were able to take out um, Vine and Elm themselves. A um, little bit of... Ruby and Weiss action. Still not as much as Bumblebee, of course. They still kept it mostly Weiss versus Marrow, Ruby versus Harriet. Um, then, of course, we of, of course Winter led Cinder right to the Winter Maiden. So She should have listened and turned around and walked away. Yeah. Um, we, so, as of right now, the theory is wrong that, that we were going to see Blake... In, uh, Neo versus Yang, but Yang Oscar said... Oscar punched Neo. Yeah, Oscar punched Neo. I never thought I'd see that. So it's going to be Juniper versus Neo as of right now, but 
Yang did say that her and Blake were going to go find the others. So that probably means it depends on how long the Neo versus Jennifer fight uh, lasts. So um, I think we're going to see another character death next week. Um, Penny, Winter. Um, I don't think they'll kill a member of Juniper off. Um, I don't think any of the I, none of the other Aesops I think are going to die. I because so, they're they're captured, like you know they're knocked out and captured. Um, Not number four. Yeah. That's where. Yeah. That... Yep. That's where the number four came. It wasn't somebody betraying the Aesops. It's Clo Clover is dead now. Uh, oh man, that is going to. That's going to make a lot of people mad. I bet Twitter is a war zone right now. Because a lot of people... Like, it wasn't... It was never confirmed. It was never, never confirmed by anyone at Rooster Teeth or anything. But a lot of people were headcanoning Clover as gay. And I'm sure there's going to be people throwing around the kill your gays thing. But we don't... We do not know if it was that way though the reaction there between the two of i don't them know now, I'm, I'm not you, sure you can you can how to take that yet <laughs> i don't know you could still you could still see it as they just had a, a really good bromance i mean you could interpret it that way that was the first real friend crows had in a long time so that's still going to be emotional but yeah I mean, it, it, it's going to be um a lot of people are going to be pissed off about that um the fighting in this was amazing. All the slow mo uh, shots and all that were amazing. Um, I like. I will say, out of out of the fights we saw, my, I, I guess this is a little bit of my bias coming out, but I do think really it was the best fight was uh, Blake and Yang versus Elm and Vine. I I think that was the best fight in this fall in, in this. Uh, um, chapter and maybe even this volume i don't know we still got one more to go we got the finale yeah. um so this really wasn't a cliffhanger in a way so that means the finale is going to be one huge cliffhanger that we're gonna have to wait almost a year to see to see how things go which i more than likely it's going to be salem showing up that's more than likely what's going to be. Like, are we even a hundred percent sure that Salem herself is going to show up, or is it just going to be the monk, the flying gorillas? Because <clears throat> in the Wizard of Oz, the witch sent the gorillas. She didn't go herself. Yeah. So I don't know. See if they keep up with that whole Wizard of Oz thing going. If they um, do, then they, she'd send them ahead of herself for, yeah. the, for them to do their job and yeah. then show up. Yeah. Um, if they did their job. Will Penny be able to hold Cinder back? I don't know. I really would think Weiss would think to go find her Cinder, which that might be the finale. That may be the finale. Um, of course, Pietro and Maria show up. Don't know how they got that far. But, <laughs> but uh, well, they're they not wanted. They were probably already in a ship. Yeah, probably. Um, <clears throat> but I mean like that far, like all the way to Ironwood's office area they're, without being yeah, stopped. Well, they yeah. aren't wanted, so... <laughs> But well, and also Pietro's a well-known scientist, so um, we still don't know what happened to Watts. We still don't know if he's dead as well or if he was just captured. Maybe we'll learn in the finale. Um, so Tyrion's back on the loose. Cinder is at the Winter Maiden. She's, you know, going to be going up against Winter and Penny. Can they? stand against her i don't know i mean like we said in our theory video maidens are not invincible so i mean they can be beaten no but i really don't think and cinder there, needs to get another set of maiden powers no i don't think so either especially if next volume may very well be cinder's last uh <clears throat> volume if the whole saying that jessica Negri is only uh, signed till volume eight is true uh, she could have signed on more well, the thing is, is even if, Cinder, no. even if Cinder succeeds in trying to, you know, kill the Winter Maiden, we don't know who's going to be in the Winter Maiden's last thoughts. It's not 
gonna it wouldn't well, directly be just Cinder standing there in front of her. Yeah, but you gotta remember, Cinder's got that thing to where she can suck the power out of her forcibly. She did it to Amber. That's I how know, she, but she, and that it just depends if the maiden dies <laughs> before Cinder can finish the job. They've been teasing the Winter Maiden can die at any moment, so that might be what happens. I mean. <sighs> It may be winter she last thinks of, but I still think the whole theory that that's Nora's grandmother may be going, like, it's still going. What if going. that were to kick in during the fight with Neo? Yeah, yeah, that, that's, uh, I hope the finale's a longer episode. I really hope it's... Because there's another thing, if the fight, if that, if that went that way where Nora inherited them, then in the middle of a fight with Neo, mm -hmm. Neo, like... I could see her seeing how tough this was getting, just using her, her semblance and disappearing. Here's, a, here's another thing. <laughs> You're not going to like it. What now? Out of Team Ruby, Blake's the only one whose aura's been broken. Yeah, I saw that, okay? <laughs> oh, oh boy, something something's going to happen. It, it, they dropped it, but it wasn't this episode. It's it's next week's. You got enough all other week to go through the theories of Blake getting hurt. Thank you for the instant panic attack all week. <laughs> oh come on, we we all know that team like Team Ruby can be injured, but they can't be killed. Yeah, but I don't. I think it's a little excessive if you're gonna have every like start going through every team member of Ruby and giving them an artificial limb. Uh, who know? It might not be that she just may get stabbed or something, like Weiss did. Um, well, I hope that'd be it, if anything. May, she might lose her ears. No. <laughs> God, all the Blake cosplayers would be mad if she I'd lost her ears. Pissed. They've finally shown so much animation with their ears. Mm. I'd be pissed. Yeah, so everybody's hopes for Mero to turn on the Aesops didn't happen. But um, he didn't want to yeah, do it. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah. Um, He's still technically the good boy. Yeah, <laughs> he is. I liked hearing him fight with Weiss, who... <sighs> but did you, just kind of did that. But did you notice <clears throat> Vine was also really apprehensive with how excessive they were going? Yeah. Where Elm and he Harriet... Was a, he, and he was throwing <clears throat> questions at Elm. Yeah, where Elm and Harriet were being, like, you know, way more um, excessive. Um, I'm going to go on a limb here. I, I really think... Um, Clover's death is really kind of his own fault in a way because I mean, come on, you had Tyrion right there, yet he kept on fighting Crow. I yeah, mean, and the thing is, I don't like. <clears throat> I can tell the way it looked. Yeah, it looked like he was fighting with Tyrion, like you know, teaming up with Tyrion to fight against Clover. Crow was technically fighting both of them at yes, the same time. Yes, and Tyrion was taking advantage of that yeah. to make it look that way. And yeah. cl clearly, look what he did. He's yeah. putting blood on his hands because of his sword mm -hmm. but and i mean then and robin was out cold the whole <clears throat> entire time so she didn't see anything um just wow there's to me though i mean yes we we have clover being killed in the fight with uh, him crow and Tyrion. um but I still think the highlight of this episode is the uh, Ruby versus Aesops. To me, that's my favorite standout of the um Well, it all kind of shadows volume. back to the beginning because, you know, seeing the difference where before when, before they truly trained with mm -hmm. the Aesops. The yeah, difference cause... between them and the Aesops. And now what Ruby even said, you know, and you know, there, trained us. There, there's going to be idiots out there who are going to be like, oh, how did they get strong so fast? This is the whole time lapse. This isn't yeah, just a this, matter of a couple days. Yeah, this volume's take taken out has went over the course of probably several weeks, maybe even several months for all we know. Uh, well, I don't know about several months, but definitely some time has went by since volume one when they uh, um, arrived. So it's not like this volumes goes over the course of a, you know a few days like volume six did. Um, so yeah, what an episode. Um, I wouldn't say it was going to make... Well, never mind. I take that back. I was about to say, I wouldn't say it was going to make everyone barf. But something really bad did happen in this episode. So I'm sure a lot of people do feel like they can barf. Um, Tyrion, what he did. His own hand. <laughs> yeah, there was oh, that God. too. Um, I cringed. 
Well, th there's been a long-standing theory that the, that a lot of people had that the whole entire Aesop's were going to die by the end of Atlas. So Clover may be the first one. I mean, who knows? Maybe only one of them will live. Maybe all of them will die. Um, Just leave the good boy alive. Because <laughs> <laughs> this volume is going to go right into volume eight. Um, but yeah, We've great. a lot to talk about the yeah, analysis. Yeah, which will be later tonight. Um, but great episode. Loved it. I, it had the emotional stuff. It had the shock value. It had <sighs> awesome fights. It pushed the story along. Um, most shocking moment will, of course, be Clover being killed by Tyrion and uh, Crow obviously going to be taking the blame for it, though he did swear that the Crow's already against Ironwood again. Like, Well, so. here's another thing where he, one last thing, Clover said, you know, I trust Ironwood with my life. Yeah, look what happened. It you killed him. Yeah, it ki yeah his uh, blind devotion pretty much... Uh, killed him, um, which that may kind of be a parallel to Tyrion's blind uh, devotion to Salem, maybe at one point being his end. Uh, just a little random thought there. Um, yeah, most shocking moments, definitely that. Um, fight of the volume. I mean, as a whole, it's Team Ruby versus um, the Aesops, but for me, the Blake and Yang versus uh, Elm and Vine uh, was the best part of it, because it continued to show that great teamwork and great and great synergy that Blake and Yang have. Um, but yeah, it's going to be one heck of a week to wake through. We've got one more episode to go, and that's the finale. This hiatus is going to be longer than Volume 6 as ever was. Um, any final thoughts? I need to process all this. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, uh, I... I've not checked Twitter. Like the, we're a little late in the day. We overslept a little bit, but um, I I'm sure Twitter is a walking time bomb right now because of what happened in this. But um, okay. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. It was very emotionally draining. Had some really good epic moments, though. Like I said, I loved the slow mo motion, the slow mo parts of the fights. Those were really cool. Um, Blake is still not safe. Her aura is the only one that's broken. So it's definitely volume three vibes for when Yang lost her arm. Um, so we'll, we'll see if anything's said during the week by any members of Karubi. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video and share it around. Um, please subscribe. We're on the road to 200 subscribers already. And... Um, <clears throat> In the description down below will be our Twitter accounts. You can follow us there for more in, uh, for more stuff that we drop. Um, there's our um, Patreon. If you think about supporting us on Patreon, there's our Etsy store, our Square store, uh, our Facebook, our email where you can contact us. Um, quick little plug. My first Let's Play is up. Go watch that because it's pretty funny. And, um, yeah, <laughs> the analysis is going to be a long one. So, uh we, we got to get ready for that. But uh, until then, we'll see you next week for the finale. Bye. <laughs>